the village of Davy de Brid, the liberation of which was reported the other day, was occupied by Airborne Forces soldiers from Russian Pskov. This was reported by Russian propaganda Z channels covering this special operation. One Russian propaganda resource assures that the paratroopers promised to keep the village under their control two days before the defeat. Fortunately, they failed to do so. The Pskov paratroopers shouted loudly that they had not withdrawn and would not. And despite the overwhelming superiority of the Russians in manpower and equipment, the AFU had burned them down and would continue to do so. In the end, the battalion of Pskov paratroopers was defeated. The surviving 10% of the battalion fled to Kherson. Overall, the Russians had a collapse of the front in northern Kherson Oblast. In Kherson Oblast, near Davidev Brid, Russia threw everything it could at repelling the Ukrainian attack. As a result, the Berislav front was bare. As a result, armored vehicles moved along the bank of the Kakavka Reservoir. By the way, it is mostly Russian military equipment captured by the AFU in Balaklia. There looms a cauldron, which will no longer be from Davy to Brid to Berislav, but Berislav to Davy to Brid with the saddest consequences. In addition to failures in the Lyman and Kherson directions, the Russian army may also face disaster in the Zaporizhia direction. We see that Ukrainian troops have intensified on the Zaporizhia front. This is a gigantic front, which is 250 kilometers wide, 150 kilometers deep, on which there are not enough Russian troops. What is happening there is roughly what was happening on the Kharkov front before the breakthrough. The Mars drive along the rocky roads and rain a deluge of shells on that front. And in the place where it is served, the Ukrainian offensive looms.